Hi, my name is Chris Fuller. I'm at Red River Chevrolet in Bossier City, Louisiana. Today we're going to introduce you to the 2013 Chevrolet Traverse. The Traverse had some upgrades for 2013. It also had a slight body change. Uh, the front end of the body has been changed with a new grille, new headlamps, and a new bumper on it. The uh, bumper has uh, air dams for uh, cooling here on the bottom and below on the, on the air dam. This vehicle has high intensity discharge headlamps with some slight cues, uh, styling cues from Chevrolet. If you'll notice inside the headlamp there, there is a Chevrolet bow tie in that light now. Brandon Nichols, Brandon This vehicle also has uh, daytime running lamps and fog lamps on it. This is the Summit White Traverse. It comes in nine colors, black granite, Atlantis blue, crystal red tint coat, tungsten metallic, the white diamond, silver ice, cyber gray, champagne silver, and white. This is a 3.6 liter V6 with variable valve timing and direct injection. It is 281 horsepower. It has 266 foot-pound torque on it. The LTZ ups the horsepower a little bit by 288 horsepower and 270 foot-pounds of torque. It has a six-speed transmission with tap ship on it with a closed system. So the transmission, you don't have to check the fluids in the transmission. It is closed and needs no servicing uh, during the first 100,000 miles. The engine does not receive its first tune-up to 100,000 miles. <clears throat> this engine has a uh, oil life management system. It uses synthetic oil in it now. And the engine oil life management system will let you know when to change the oil in. The mirrors have changed a little bit on the side in the car. Uh, they have been streamlined a little bit. They have a integrated side blind zone alert in those mirrors now uh, for the LTZ. The LT models have a side blind spot mirror integrated into the mirror. These are 18 inch wheels. The 18 inch wheels come on all the LTs. The LS have 17 inch wheels and the LTZ has 20 inch wheels on it. The rear car has been streamlined a little bit. This car has a rear view camera and ultrasonic park assist. The ultrasonic park assist alerts you if you uh, come close to anything in the back of it. Uh, within eight feet away you get one beep, three feet away two beeps, and at one foot you receive a consistent uh, audible tone letting you know that you're close to something. This is an integrated spoiler in the back of the vehicle. The um, tail lamps are, have been redesigned and they have a, a jewel-like look to them now. Uh, this vehicle has a power lift gate. The back of this vehicle uh, with the seats folded down will accept 113 cubic feet of cargo. There is also a on the floor storage in this vehicle. The spare tire is located up under the vehicle and you access it through here and just wind it down. This also has a touch button to close it. This wheel, if it comes in contact with anything, will stop and reverse its action on it. So uh, in case you leave something in the door or something is blocking that path, it will um, reverse the pedal. They all have um, washers on the back of the vehicle now. The interior of the new Traverse has changed somewhat too. Uh, this is a seven seat configuration on the uh, Traverse. If there's a bench in the third row seat, it will actually seat eight people. Uh, these seats come forward. So you can't access the third row. Seat also folds forward at a flat level. So if this third row seat is down, it will actually have a flat load surface for you throughout the seat, <clears throat> throughout the rear of the car. There are uh, controls for the stereo and the air conditioning for the second row occupants. Um,
they can access the air conditioning system and the stereo. Um, you do need headphones to plug into the system back here for the uh, um, audio system in the second rows. All of these seats have the latch system in them for child seats. These buttons on the seat show you the access points or the clips for the um, where you would hook the uh, child seats in them and on the back side. The headrests now have a button on the side and this headrest will move forward and back along with the up and down movement. So you can actually Antonio have quite a, quite a bit of movement on that headrest for your comfort. The interior of the 2013 Traverse uh, did have an upgrade and a change for this year. Uh, with the remote keyless entry, you can still remote start this vehicle and open the rear uh, storage area using your remote. Uh, the steering wheel remained unchanged. Uh, cruise control on one side, audio controls on this side. Uh, there is a push to talk function on it like on the Camaros and Tahoes where you can actually um, change some of the information, uh, uh, make certain commands to the system and it will uh, change radio stations and so forth. Uh, <clears throat> this is the new MyLink system. Uh, the new MyLink system uh, has a home page and uh, you can access uh, different um, functions on this system and it is all touch uh, there's Bluetooth streaming audio for your phone and uh, also for the Pandora and Stitcher uh, XM radio is standard uh, it is uh, free for three months you have a three month uh, free subscription after that you would buy a subscription to it um, the uh, USB port accepts flash drives and uh, uh, any, anything on that USB port as far as music you can access through the system. This system now has, this is a touch system, so everything on the dash there uh, are, you can touch and move the system on here. So no longer push buttons on top of the dash, everything is touch on here. Um, with the streaming audio, uh, the music in your phone does not have to be plugged into the USB port to connect to the system. As long as it is Bluetooth to the car, you can access that through the radio system. Uh, the air conditioning change for this year, where it also has a sync button. So if I change the air conditioner on this side, uh, this button right here would actually sync both together so that uh, it would have a constant temperature throughout the vehicle. Uh, the auto system here accesses the system and it will start to raise the uh, fan to get it to the desired temperature that you set in the vehicle. Uh, <clears throat> the rear the rear window defogger is, is here. And all of that, the controls are very easy to access, very intuitive uh, and very easy to use so you do not uh, have a huge learning curve. These are heated seats, <clears throat> so if I touch that, it lights up the seat and it declines as you go further. This is for the rear uh, hatch in the back. It opens that rear hatch and you can actually close it there too. You notice there is an off button on there, so if this is pressed off, you uh, could not open the hatch using your uh, uh, keyless remote nor pressing the handle on the back, it would have to actually be accessed. All of our uh, vehicles have stability control systems and traction control systems. The traction controls limit the spins, the uh, wheel spin in the back of the truck. The stability control system has a yaw control sensor in it that uh, if the vehicle rolls over too far or uh, slides sideways, it interferes. It cuts engine power and starts to break one or all four of the wheels to get it back in line. A lot of safety features in this vehicle. Regular rail of airbags, <clears throat> front and driver uh, driver and passenger airbags. The, the passenger airbags are, are dual stage. Um, these front airbags are dual stage, which means that depending on the severity of the crash is the amount of pressure put on that bag to come out. So it don't just blow out at full force. It, it, if depending on the severity of the crash, it may be less than full force, but it will blow out. 
Um, there are also airbags on the side of these seats. The, these are um, airbags that come between you and the door. So they are side impact thorax bag airbags that come out in between you and the door. Also the head curtain airbags for all three rows. The first, second, and third row are covered on all on both sides of the vehicle with um, head curtain airbags for um, for this vehicle. Uh, <clears throat> OnStar has a um, uh, crash alert and uh, airbag deployment. So if an airbag deploys in this car, automatic phone call from OnStar. Uh, if a crash is registered uh, by OnStar, there's an automatic phone call to this vehicle. So you get that peace of mind from having someone uh, to contact you if you're in a remote area or something that can get you help in case you need it. Um, the OnStar service is free for six months with uh, directions and connections so you uh, uh, can call OnStar, give them the name of a business, give them a street address, they download it into the system, the voice comes out through the speakers telling you the directions and the next turn. Uh, it also has a screen that comes up and gives you the name of the street, the, not, the amount of distance, your uh, estimated arrival time at your destination. So. Um, very, very handy and, and, and very useful, uh, the OnStar. Uh, this 2LT vehicle also has a um, home link remote where you can actually link your garage door to the system. And you can use one button for garage door, you can use one button for the light, and if you live in a gated community, you can use that to open that gated community when you come up. So, um, <clears throat> a lot of function in here. Uh, there is still storage up here and the USB port is inside this uh, storage area on top so you don't end up having to search all over the car for uh, the USB port or also for any of your uh, connected devices. Uh, the center storage here is still a deep storage space, a lot of space and also a 12 volt there. You have a 12 volt connection here. You have a 12 volt connection on the dash and you have one in the back and also in the storage area. So you are virtually connected all over your car. Um, that concludes our uh, look at the 2013 Traverse. My name is Chris Fuller. I'm at Red River Chevrolet. Our number is 549-7611. Give me a call if you have any questions. We appreciate you uh, looking at our videos. Thank you.